tonight uh, because you know my foundation has been Hebrews 4, 1 through 11, but tonight I want to just, just refocus on Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 30. And I want to give you the words of Jesus tonight and encourage you with Jesus's words that says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. What am I saying? God wants us to enjoy our life in Christ. God wants us to enjoy. It is not about how many do's and don'ts and thou shall not we can nail upon your head. It is not trying to see how much you can do right to gain eternal life. You cannot do enough to gain eternal life. There's not enough good you can do to gain eternal life. The labor is to enter into the rest of knowing that all you have to do is believe in your heart, now I'm giving you scripture, and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus that God has raised him from the dead and thou shalt be saved. Scripture also goes on to say that in that day, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. What I want us to do is embrace the fact that God, John 3, 16, so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have ever lasting life. Boom. John 3, 17, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That is the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is the good news. So I am never going to be the person that tries to give you all this bad news and, and tries to be legalistic and, and tries to make you uh, come to God trying to do all of these rituals and all of these things. Why? Because Jesus died that we might have life. Jesus gave his life. Jesus hung on that old rugged cross. If you want to just talk about the cross, go there and realize that that is the bottom line. You didn't have to do it, so stop trying to do it. You didn't have to die for our sins, so stop trying to die for our sins. You didn't have to hang on the cross, so, so get off the cross. You didn't have to get nails put in your hands and thorns put on your head. So take the thorns off and take the nails out and do like Jesus says in John 10, 10. He tells us that the thief cometh but to steal and to kill and to destroy. He, Jesus says that I am come that we may have life and that we may have it more abundantly. The only thing I'm trying to do with this word of God is get us free and keep us free. Get us free and keep us free. That's what this word is, is for, to get us free and to keep us free, to bring us into the rest of God so that we can rest and you shall find rest, Jesus says, unto your soul. That means your mind, your will, and your emotions. I'm not trying to bring you in to a place where you are bound up and you can't figure out where you, whether you're going or coming, you up or down. I am trying to get us free. And for way too many years, 
hundreds of years, this Bible, and I see I only got about two minutes with y'all on Zoom, and, and thank you. Uh, if I need to restart Zoom, I will just for you. But, but let me just tell you, I'm going to just try to wrap it up. Uh, this word for too many years, this Bible, this Holy Scripture was used to bind us, even as a people, was used to keep us down, was used to humiliate us. And so my mandate in this season of my life is to take this same word that was used to bind us, to keep us down, to keep us humiliated. And in a twist of faith, I'm using this word to set you free. And anybody who don't want to be free, all I ask you to do is one thing, that's ease on down, ease on down, down the road. If you don't want to be free where the sun sets you free, then all I ask you to do is ease on down, ease on down, down the road. Because over here, I'm trying to keep us free. Who the sun makes free is free indeed. Father, I thank you for your word. You sent your word and it healed us and delivered us. I thank you for a free church. I thank you for a happy church, an excited church, a loving church, a peaceful church, a joyous church, a, a saved church, a sanctified church, a filled with the blessed Holy Ghost church. I thank you for a church that, that is on fire for you, that loves you, and that, that embraces the whole of who you are. Father, I just bless your people tonight. I speak a blessing that the Lord bless you, keep you, make his face shine upon you. Lift up his countenance upon you. Be gracious unto you. And the Lord grant you his peace. For this is the blessing that he commanded that I bless his people with. And I do it tonight because you are blessed. Because God says you're blessed. Because you are children of the most high God. And so I love you. I set you free by the power of God's word and the 